I think the first thing anyone does in this game is this. Give him a kick up the ass. Yeah, because when I got this game when I was younger, I got the PC version. Which came on three discs. And I was always wondered, why does the PC version come on three discs while the console versions come on one disc? And at first I thought, well, maybe the PC version's got higher quality assets and stuff, which is true. But it's actually a lot more simple. The PC version's on CD, while the console version's on DVD. Because obviously most people at the time wouldn't have had DVD drives on their computers, so... Multiple discs. Oh, there's a poo. I have a problem with him. It's one of those things where I can understand why people might have problems with poo. He is a bit stereotypical and stuff, and it is obviously a, a non-Indian man voicing him with a very, yeah, very stereotypical accent. But a poo in the classic series was such a great character that he didn't, you can't, you didn't even look at him like that. And he said that they're not, he's not going to voice him anymore. Like, at this point, who cares? This show is so fucking terrible. SMRT. So we got a beat Skinner to the school in our first racing mission. This first level is so easy. But what do you expect? Oh. I'm such a bad driver. Oh, stop. Let's kill Skinner. Oh. Stupid Skinner. When did this game come out? It was like the early 2000s, maybe like 2001 or something. I don't know. It's weird because I got a copy of this game. My uncle bought me a copy for I think it was like Christmas or my birthday. And he also got me a copy of Escape from Monkey Island, which I think he just randomly picked up as well. <laughs> got to go inside. Got to talk to Lisa. So I'm not used to the controls on the GameCube version very much. Which is weird. Wait a minute, I do own the proper GameCube version though. And, oh, so I do actually own the GameCube version, just obviously been a while since I've played it. And I got to the very last mission and the save data got corrupted. And it was fucking heartbreaking, I never played it again, I was so pissed off. From what I've heard, the GameCube has some problems with the save files, like, it, they get corrupted quite often. From what I've read, it might be bullshit, might, maybe some people are just really fucking unlucky. Yeah, this is weird. Alright, here's Ned. I'm going to make him dead. Oh! He jumped out of the way, the bastard. I love how they didn't even attempt to do lip sync. Just have it open and close and just hope it looks decent. Right, we're going on a little mission now. Find his tuxedo. Hmm, I wonder where it is. Now to find his lawnmower, which has square wheels, which even at the, even when I was a kid I noticed how bad that looked. Like you couldn't make them at least a few more polygons. I've got to talk to Fatty. Hmm, Fatty. Where is he? Oh. Remember that cooler I gave you for your birthday? Well, Flanders wants it back. Now what will I use for a toilet? Oh. Oh, so that means he's been weeing in it. And let's be honest, Barney probably doesn't have the nicest wee. He's got the... Well, the berry drinks. It's probably very yellow and... Oh, nasty. That's nice of you having to get the stuff back you stole. And threw away for some reason. Uh -oh. oh, I love running over Flanders. What are we doing next then? Quickie Mart. No, Crusty Burger. Oh, they both start with K. Easy mistake. I would. I think everyone would have loved a sequel to this game because this game was. It's, it, I would I say it was great. It is great. I mean, obviously, it's inspired by Grand Theft Auto, but it did their own thing with it. Obviously, they just couldn't do anything. Could, could you imagine, like, the Simpsons running around with guns and fucking killing people? Why did I take the long route? And away we go. Fuck off. Oh my god. Imagine if there's, like, a, like a, like a proper gory squashing sound when you run somebody over. I'd surprise somebody's actually not done a mod for this game where if you run somebody over, they just flat out fucking die. <laughs> it's, like, exploding into a, into a cloud of blood and guts and bones. And it was like, hmm, pelvis. Here we go. Let's fuck up Smithers. Take that. Oop, smash. Let's fucking kill him. There we go. He'll probably kill himself. There we go. See, it wasn't me that destroyed him, he did it himself. Oh, you fucker. Nah. 
Oh no, I'm not stuck, am I? You've got to be kidding. I think I may legitimately be stuck. Oh god! There we go. Now, I'll tell you, obviously I had the PC version of this game. And doing the platforming on a keyboard is awful. So I remember missions like this I absolutely hated. Where is that last um, box? Oh, there it is. It's right near the beginning. How stupid of me. But yeah, I'm surprised they haven't remade this game yet. Again, I think a lot of copies just can't be bothered to do remakes, because why put effort into doing a remake when you need to do a shitty mobile game? I've also got a drink, actually, funny enough. Pepsi Max Ginger. Normally these sort of weird flavours they do don't work, but ginger does. Though it does actually kick my ass a little bit. It makes my throat a little bit tingly. Oh, my throat's already tingling from the Pepsi. <laughs> oh, you fucking sneaky black van. That's what you get for jogging. That's what you want. That's what you get for being healthy. You can be unhealthy when you're dead. Uh. Is it? If you're dead, is that technically counted as unhealthy? Because at that point, you don't have any health. You just your health. You know what? You're healthless and helpless. Sometimes they can actually get stuck, like behind cars and stuff. <laughs> it's really stupid. I don't know if it resets them or not. Oh. That's what you get. They always said that nuclear power is dangerous, this is why. So all we've got to do, bump the truck, which I think is being dr driven by Hans Moorman. And collect the boxes that fall. It might not be him, it might be Jasper. Actually, I am pretty well versed with Simpsons stuff. Like, I'm not one of those ultra, mega hardcore fans, but I do know my shit. At least the classic stuff. I think I don't think anybody cares about modern episodes. Like they're not, they're not memorable in the fucking slightest. But you know I love a you know I love a Pooh. He's great. He's one of the few like positive characters on the show, which is nice. He's very in the classic series. He's very rarely mean or anything like that. I mean the only time he did anything that's really shitty was when he like sued Marge. You know we're gonna put that bitch on ice, which <laughs> just like it's a funny line, but I don't like hearing a Pooh say that. Such a nice guy. He's the, he's the sort of guy that you love, even though the fact he's ripping you off. <laughs> oh, I need to stop like running over people, honestly. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, whatever. Over and done with. Take my 50 coins, you fucking pigs. Now we're going to kill some black people. I have no idea why the police in America are so fucked up. I really don't know. Like, they must be hiring like the worst people possible. Actually, there's a way you can cheat this mission. Because I think this is actually the longest racing mission in the game, funny enough. What you have to do... I think you park your car around here. And hopefully we can just drive through. Yes, that worked. We don't have to drive to Burns Mansion the long way now. Can we please kill this wasp? Nice. Mm, yummy money in my tummy. Pour it out later for my bummy. There we go. And we win. Cross the line. You gonna say anything? You old fuck. Wait a minute, is Mr. Burns taller than Homer? Here we go. It's Bart. With the honour ruler. I love the fact they gave him the honour ruler for his car. It's brilliant. I <laughs> call his Mel House. That's so mean. Alright. Fuck you, Mel House. And away we go. <coughs> New mission type, getting away from a car. I don't think it's ever taken me this long before. Oh. Alright, back to the try save. Try and save. Which is a fucking fantastic name for a shop. Here we go. Let's bully the bully. I cannot abide rudeness. Dude! <laughs> that is such a terrible pun. You should be ashamed for that. Fine by me. Oh, <laughs> that, that was good. That wasn't even me doing the violence that time. Alright, we're going to Moe's. We're going for a drink. Oh, shit. Sorry. I just know I'm going to be blamed for this. I mean, you did it, you fucking idiot. Of course you will. 
That's the joke. Oh my god. Bart just drops down his pants and shits on the windshield. But you can, because he's going to chase you. But if you if you park the car far enough, you instantly win. It's like it's a, this game's got a few oversights like this. Oh, Look, scratch before I do a little drive. And away we go. Oh no, he's being violent. Now I got to drive. Oh fuck you, man. Take a detour through here. Save a bit of time. Come on, nearly there. And I win. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I do love the physics in this game. I think my favourite moment in any one of my favourite moments in any Gmod video I made is when Sniper runs over Pyro with the motorcycle. <laughs> like I didn't expect Pyro to fly that much. Oh, it's comic book guy. Race the nerd to the Java server. Get it, Java? Ha <laughs> ha. I think the only reason why anyone cares about Java is because of Minecraft. If Minecraft didn't happen, I think Java would have been dead by now. I think I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? No, no I haven't. <gasps> oh! I went the wrong way. Oh, I was that close. That's the thing, most of the missions tend to be quite short, so it's not really that annoying how to like, try them over again. Oh shit. Fuck it, we're just gonna, <laughs> just gonna leg it and hopefully we make it there in time. There we go. Professor Frank posted a message on my news group, alt.furryanimals.fanfiction.net. Pardon me? Alt.furryanimals.fanfiction.net? Are they saying that comic book guy is a furry? I like to pretend I'm a wolf on the internet. Wait, well, again, I call myself out, so I'm probably not better than that way. I'm officially coming out as a. If a furry's for like mammals and stuff, what's for like birds? Birdie? February. Beaky, I'm coming out as Beaky. It's Professor Frank. He stink. Where's my car? Dude, where's my car? Here we go. Come on, Bart. You little sausage, get in there. You just murdered a child. I think I'm in love. They were here now. You ugly little boy, get the hell out of my way. Tiny ass feet, fuck you. Oh god, we got erased for it. And this must be a because this originally was this this honor roller was a soapbox derby car they made, so it doesn't have an engine in it. I don't think. Like I don't drive. I'm I'm way too like paranoid and anxious to drive. But if I if I did drive it, it would be something like this. Oh shit! What am I doing? Ah! I win. Take that, it's criminal scum. Oh, it's him. What's our next challenge? And I think this is um better than beef. <laughs> Collect the flat meat. <laughs> flat meat. Yeah, this is a new mission type: picking up shit. Yeah, there's not a huge amount of variety, but I guess it's not a huge amount you can do, to be honest. Are you legally allowed to eat roadkill? Like you probably don't want to be eating it for obvious reasons, but you know parasites and bugs and. Y y yum yum nuts. Like, I would not eat a Roko skunk and burn it with beer. Right, and away we go. Time to avoid a poo. Got to avoid poo and his hot rod. And we already did it. I have no idea where I'm going now, I'm just being stupid. Yeah. Satellite dish, thank you. Can I ride the car now? Thank you for the satellite dish and the fun. A kick in the nuts for number one. Oh, I need to buy a vehicle, don't I? Oh, Mr. Plough, there we go. We have to buy it from home, man. Look at his little bubble in the corner. He's like, no, oh, don't look at me. There you go. <coughs> Got to collect all the monkeys. Mr. Plough is smaller, but it's a lot quicker, I think. Monkeys have got square heads. There he is. Oh, they've got little straight jackets. Even though their arms aren't tied up. I've nearly destroyed this entire town. I've fully wasted millions of taxpayers' money. But games like this must have been fucking mind-blown back in the time. Like, 
Look at the PS1. As good as the PS1 is, it has its obviously has its limitations. But the leap from like the PS1 to the PS2 and like the Nintendo 64 to the GameCube was humongous. Something like this must have been like Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god. Oh, because it's on the roof, isn't it? Silly mate. This is clever. You have to like, use your car to get up there. Energy depleting. Need sugar. Now to put the electrodes in, in your, your brain. We got a blender. Now, Bart, I know your family isn't especially rich, but I assume they probably have a blender at home. So go and get one knife, stupid little bastard. But then the game can't happen. Right, it's Frink again. A lot of Frink in this game, actually. See, that should have fucking killed him. We have to destroy the cars with cell phones, which we don't call them cell phones here in the UK, we call them mobile phones, or to be honest, just phones. I love it when they destroy themselves, though, that's the best thing. Here we go. The cell phone uses cars, aka any person in modern society. Jump. Oh, glitchy. Oh, he must have bumped into something big. Here we go. Now, that was a nice smash. Jesus Christ, look at the time I got left. I think it carries over from the last one. There we go. Back to the state. Oh, shit. Run away. I didn't run away. Well done, my little sociopath. <laughs> right. I like to smash. Now there is no chance. <laughs> I like to smash too. Oh, right. that was so cool. That's it, I think the level's over. Wow, Truckosaurus is some kind of truck slash dinosaur. I never would have guessed. Barrett, you've seen Truckosaurus before, you fool. You know, Bart the Daredevil. One of the most classic episodes ever. Oh, and he gets abducted by aliens. Kang and Kodos, which I believe are the names of some characters in Star Trek. <gasps> Bart, no! Oh, my fingers hurt. Oh, it says rope memory card. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not using an emulator, honest. Oh, I'm not racing the nerd again. And if I remember, you can, like... Oh, I remember this ramp here. If you go too quick, you, f you fucking miss it. Oh. Oh! Just about did that as well. Sailors, I must get this comic into a mylar bag before it deteriorates into near mint condition. Heaven for fame. Am I the. Like, I, I'm a collector. I collect a lot of, you know, retro video games and stuff. But am I the. I can't be the only one who doesn't give a shit what condition it's in, it's like, as long as it works. Because I don't, I don't collect to keep, I collect to play. You know, like. As long as the cartridge or the disc or whatever works, that's the important thing. Yeah, first mission, we don't actually use the car, our own car, that's bizarre. Shut up, I don't know what you mean. Oh, it's Millhouse. So I think you just gotta do a bunch of minor shit, then go back to, um... Oh, it's Millhouse. I need new undies! <laughs> Me too. Yeah, Lisa's hair looks weird in 3D. Oh, we're gonna... I'm gonna have to jump. That's the problem, you hit that um thing and it's, that sign it sort of spins you a little bit you can miss. Oh no. It's the male house, the creep. And he's colliding with the chair. Oh, no house is so pathetic, honestly. I don't think the, my, the people in work know how pathetic I am because I shut up. Oh, fuck. Oh, here come the cops, here come the pigs. Bringing in the bacon. Oh, help. Oh, shit. I need enough speed to get over there. There you go. Poor Millhouse. Oh. Oh no, stuck under the car, I think. <laughs> a 500 yard gash. I think Godzilla's got a 500 yard gash. <laughs> 